find my turn and the gates closed so I'm not entirely sure where I'm gonna end up today I'm gonna see if I can find a spot off the main road to uh, take a look at the maps otherwise I'm gonna just look at every gate every side road and uh, see if any of them are unlocked but that, that kind of sucks The updated, updated Garmin maps that I have for this area are uh, very out of date. Um, I can tell that the GPS is a little bit off, uh, but there's a lot of roads that are just now campsites. They've all been deconstructed and uh, turned into campsites. So just looking at the roads, the spur roads on the map. Um, and not paying attention to forest service road designations is uh, going to end up in places, get you to end up in places where uh, the trailhead up here. Let's go take a look at that. Uh, yeah, back to what I was saying. Uh, if you don't pay attention to the, the, the forest road numbers, uh, you're going to end up in a, in a camp area, a little campsite that they uh, they left the road just long enough where you can't see the deconstruction and then people have, you know made their camp made campsites there over the years so yeah it's uh it's, it's very very early in the season for Snoqualmie National Forest uh, like I said all the gates all the gates are still locked for, the, for a lot of the spur roads so I don't know exactly where I'm gonna get I'm just trying to find a spot for the view for right now and uh, let the dogs out and uh, take it from there. Got out and looked. Didn't like the snow. The guy took his... Looks like he went up just into the snow and uh, stopped. He was going to see if he could make it to the trailhead. Um, this is not too far. I sat here to make sure he didn't get completely stuck. And uh, it looks like he's unloading a, a quad and some bikes now, so he looks, he'll, I assume he'll, he'll be good to go. Now I'm going to break out the map and see if I can figure out another place to go. fail every time I fold a map I have the line from Twister go through my head where he talks about don't fold the maps all I'm saying is don't fold the maps I just forever it's been years and years and years and I can't get that out of my head even though I have to fold the maps yeah well Kansas is a mess there's a big crease right through Wichita
The problem that I'm having with the spots that I've found so far is they're all just on the south side of I-90. Um, not can't get down to the water, um, and you can really hear the interstate. I can't get very far south because all the gates are locked, and truthfully, um, even if I got in there, I probably couldn't go too far just because the uh, the watershed area for the city of Seattle is right there. So I'm going to chalk this up as a good that I was coming out here a little late and that uh, I was only planning on find, exploring the area a little bit before I uh, uh, went to the event at Mule tomorrow. So yeah, I'm going to see what I can find, explore the area. Maybe I can find something a little bit further away from the freeway. If not, Eh, it is what it is. So I went way further east than I expected to go. Um, I went down past like something or other that I'm gonna see if I can actually get to. Um, the way that I'm going isn't gonna get me there. So I'm going to, uh, to try and do that. I've uh, clearly found snow. <laughs> I don't know how high I am. I don't. I don't. I don't know that I'm that high. But um, in elevation, um, I did work. I have started to work my way up through the pass pretty significantly. So, and I'm past. I'm further east than Snoqualmie uh, Res uh, Resort. So it's three o'clock. So I'm definitely trying to find a spot because around here it doesn't look like there's going to be a whole lot. And if there is something, it's going to be snatched up pretty quick. So that's what I'm here trying to do. Let the dogs out. Dogs are taking a break, getting some water, stretching their legs, eating some snow, because that's what they do. So this campsite isn't the worst that I've come across, but uh, it's still definitely a mess. So I'm gonna clean it up. So I went to the store and I got myself a steak and some lunch meat and some other stuff for food and apparently I got nothing else to eat with dinner. I got a steak some lunch meat, some bread, and some carrot sticks. Seriously. What am I, no, no, nothing else. The reason for the awning, of course, is so that I can sit next to the fire in the misty, rainy Pacific Northwest, uh, drinking my beer, waiting for my steak to cook, and not be in the rain. This is pretty good. Capella Porter. Good. So I just, I just put their piece of steak in each one of their dishes. Sit. Chip, sit. Sit, Dale, sit. Leave it, nope, sit. 
Sit. Chip. Sit. Good boy. Get it. breakfast to finish eating up. I just brought some leftovers from uh, a restaurant near my house the other day, or that I got dinner at the other day, so I had leftovers, so I thought I'd bring it and uh, be easy about things. Um, it rained a little bit last night, not a lot, but definitely enough to, uh, to soak everything. Um, at 9 o'clock this morning, there's a, uh, an event at Mule Expedition Outfitters that I'm going to try and head to. It starts at 9 um, at this rate. I don't. I might make it by 9, but I'm not entirely sure. I think it's about an hour from here, uh, give or take. So I need to, if I want to make it there by 9, not a big deal if I don't. I need to get my breakfast cooked to drink my coffee, pack all this up, and uh, get on the road. See if I do it on time. So here's the question. How wet am I gonna get when I roll up this awning? I think I'm gonna get soaked.